Gavin Horn, uh, Director of Research at the Illinois Fire Service Institute. For the last uh, couple weeks we've been working on a project that's uh, many years in the making. It's one of the first times we're able to bring together the great research that's been done at the Illinois Fire Service Institute, working on the cardiovascular strain of firefighting with our partners at the Underwriter Labs, working on firefighter health and safety, focusing on tactics and some of the changes in the modern built environment, and NIOSH, who has looked at the uh, chemical exposures to firefighters on the fire ground of various different types of firefighting activities. So we're really excited to have all of these different partners available and, and the research that's been cutting edge in each of these different areas can come together for the first time here at this research project. My name is Steve Kerber, the director of the UL Firefighter Safety Research Institute. We're here to create 12 consistent fires measuring temperature, heat flux, pressure, victim tenability so that our partners can measure the chemical exposure as well as the cardiovascular strain experienced by the firefighters during these experiments. I'm Kenny Fent from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH. And our part of this project is really to focus on what are the chemical exposures during firefighting. We're looking at what's getting into the air, what's getting onto the gear, what's getting onto the skin, and then also what's getting into the body. We're also looking at various ways to help control those exposures. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is figure out the best way to protect the firefighter. I'm Denise Smith, a research scientist at the Fire Service Institute and also a professor at Skidmore College. And in order to look at the carcinogenic and cardiovascular risks that firefighters are facing, we've designed an experiment in which we asked 36 firefighters to actually come to the Fire Service Institute and do real firefighting in a modern fire environment in a building that we built specifically for this research. Before firefighters engage in the firefighting activities, we get complete physiological measures, including EKGs, blood, blood pressure, breath samples, urine samples. It's a complete physiological workup. We then put them into the firefighting situation, they're assigned to specific roles based on exposure, and we measure all of those things again, the blood, the breath, and the urine, as well as the continuous monitoring of heart rate, EKG, and core temperature. And what this allows us to do is better understand the overall physiological strain, but also to understand how the tactics and what they're doing on the fire ground impacts physiology and exposure risk.